I'm Casey Donovan. Together with our writer, Amy Malloy, we welcome you back to another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Every Wednesday, our theme is a whole lot of yes, with mindfulness tips for positivity and being present. We're going to talk about boundaries. There's that word again. It's splashed across every self-help book. It's become a part of our everyday jargon. The problem is, it's freaking hard to master. We're a society of people pleasers. We're not good at knowing our own limits. We worry about saying no too often. We don't value rest and relaxation. We never feel like we're doing enough. Instead, we end up feeling resentful. Often we end up feeling like a pushover. We've got good news. Anyone can gather the courage to live a life of boundary badassery. This is according to Nancy Levin, the author of the book Setting Boundaries Will Set You Free. You don't have to start with the big stuff. You can still reply to your boss's emails after hours. You can still let your partner pick every movie. You can still attend three kids' parties in one day. Goodness gracious. We'll get to that stuff later. For now, start with beginner's boundaries, says Nancy. A beginner's boundary is a practice boundary, she says. One that you don't think will result in conflict. A beginner's boundary shouldn't cause you a lot of anxiety. But it could be something you were scared to set in the past. Here's some examples. Try asking your partner to get an Uber home from work drinks. Putting your out of office on during the weekend. Asking someone in your family to cook one day a week. Telling your friend you can only chat outside of work hours. Telling your housemates not to use your fancy shampoo. To anyone else, it might seem insignificant. But you're flexing your boundary muscle. This step is all about choosing and then setting one such boundary, says Nancy. Practice makes awesome. Setting a beginner's boundary helps people to find their confidence, she says. The more comfortable we get at setting small boundaries, the closer we get to setting the big ones. Here's a challenge for you. Think of one beginner boundary you can set this week. Whatever you choose to do, follow three simple principles, says Nancy. Do it without an apology. Do it without defiance. Defending your choice. Do it without casting blame. I've decided I'm only going to cook dinner four nights a week. The other nights we can go out, order food, or you can cook. Simple, right? We can be a boundary badass without rocking the boat too much. Try it and see. You've been listening to The Space with me, Casey Donovan. We're back tonight with another mood-soothing episode. Is your inner child a yes person? How to undo that conditioning. Space out.